Okay, so the first of our Creatures of the World series, and this is going to be the Praying Mantis. Because that is exactly what it looks like. Now, I've dyed this in pink just for a bit of colour. Obviously, you could dye this in any colour at all, and I'll go over that in a sec to get it a proper Mantis feel. But this is going to be the character that I use for my Bomb Blade. Often, you'll see this one running around. And it's got that sort of bug-like feel to the character with the wings, the sort of scaling on some of the outfit, etc. So, let's quickly go over that. So, first of all, we are only using three dyes here. They're one of them only once. This is going to be Ironweed Violet, which is going to be unlocked with the legendary Clovia. Um, I actually don't know what that achievement is, so you have to work that one out, I guess. But you could go for a more traditional Mantis color, which would be green as well, and you'd still get the overall feel, but a little more of that Mantis look to it. So that's how it would look in green, should you wish. And the green I would go for is Explorer Green, which is nice and easy to get. The black, again, as always, is going to be Legate Black for me. You could adjust that as you like for any black. It's just basically to contrast the bright color. And then just one piece is white, and that is going to be on uh, the belt of the body. And that is going to be Julianos well, uh, white. So in actual set pieces, we're using the Ashlander helmet. Now this is going to be in Ashlander, helmet, and medium. And this has this really, really sort of bug-like look and... It's the whole reason we went for this in the first place. The shoulders with that sort of wing-like structure is Militant Ordinator Heavy. Um, the helmet is all green and the shoulders are going to be black green. The gloves are then High Elf Gauntlet 4. And this has, again, that sort of scaled structure to it of a little flick. That is going to be black, green, black. And then our legs were just to basically add a bit of shape to the general wing feel. And that is green, black, green on skin changer heavy. I couldn't really find a better option for the legs. And I feel it opens it up a little bit, makes it a bit more wing-like. So I went for those. The body, a bit of a no-brainer here. It just has to be regarded heavy because they get this amazing looking wings. Very different, not very useful elsewhere. But for this kind of look, really sexy. And that is where we get the green, black, white. The white just adds that sort of feather-like structure. Um, obviously, feathers, not really bug-related, but you could adjust those if you like. Who cares? The belt, then, is going to be dread horn heavy. This gets that sort of structure in the middle that looks, again, more like a beetle than anything else. Probably not meant to be that, but it's what it looks like to me. And we've gone for green black there to get that little contrast to make it a bit clearer. And then the boots, again, just because they look a bit sort of scaled, are going to be Aldemary heavy, and these are going to be green and black. Last but not least, we are running jeweled on this one. And these are going to be the sort of scythes. So this is the Soul Shriven Axe. And they give that sort of, uh, I don't know how to describe this. They give that general feel of bug-like, in my opinion. So again, obviously this is just my outfits. It's up to you how you adjust these. But I think it's a cool little structure for animals. So I thought I'd share it. So second in the animal series, it would have to be, is the wolf. Because there are a really cool selection of stuff, sort of fur structures. And of course, you get this wonderful wolf-based helm to play with. So, a bit limited on what you could do in terms of this one. We did what we can. Two slightly different looks. You've got the male and the female. Only difference between us is going to be the body. So, obviously, you have the tiny, tiny little wolf there. And then the bigger wolf on myself. Now, this, just to give you the tour around, it would look like so on the following. Know that it's going to look a lot better on a dark shaded skinned Khajiit. Because then you get that tail as well. And it looks really cool there. Uh, but this is the best I could do at the time. In terms of the actual costumes itself then. We are using a skin changer light hat. That is going to be sort of your must have. That's where the general theme for this comes from. Because it is, well it's a wolf. So it makes it a bit easier. The shoulders are going to be blood forge light. Now all of the dyes are mixed here. We've got three different dyes going. Some of them are two, some of them are three. So I'll go over this piece by piece. So in terms of the helmet, light, skin changer hat, we have the undaunted bronze, which in terms of rarity is the fourth in rare on the third row. Julianos white, which is going to be in terms of your hue, the first white. And then we have uh, the Colossal Branch, which is the last on the third row of rare for the dies. Some of these dies are pretty hard to get, so again, adjust them as you needed. The shoulders then are going to be Bloodforged Epaulets. There's no first colour available, but you go for Undaunted Bronze and Julianus White. Now, the gloves, although they don't have the same feel with the fur, they actually do have claws, which kind of looks great. So, we went with the Sivkin Heavy, so you get the sort of talon look. Now, note that if you Khajiit, you will also, with these boots which I'll go over in a sec, get your nails through there as well. So you'll actually get like the full claw look. Uh, you could just about make it out in the gloves right now. 
The legs then are going to be Nord breeches too. They're about as fluffy as it gets. That is going to be the same as the gloves. It's going to be Undaunted Bronze, Julianus White, and then the brass. Body, if you have it, is going to be Frost Caster Light. Um, if you don't, there's a few other options available. But this is going to be Undaunted Bronze, Julianus White, and Colossus Brass. And then the belt, quite honestly, you could go for anything. We just kept it really simple, which is Khajiit Sash 1. Just if it's not in the way too much. And that is Julianus White. And then the boots are Primal Sabaton's Heavy. So this is going to be Undaunted Bronze, White, and Colossus Brass. And again, the reason for these is that if you do go for a Khajiit, which will be what you're generally going to run this costume on, you'll get your sort of claws through there and it looks really effective and sexy and all of that. Finally, the daggers are going to be Ebon Shadow. These are the most sort of Talonish look, so we felt it kind of appropriate. And they look as follows. Zooming in real fast here. Screw the chat. Like this. Uh, like this. And then the die on those is going to be exactly the same order. Undaunted Bronze, Julianus White, and Colossus Brass. So the final one for my series of animals, and probably one of my favourite outfits that I have ever seen is of course Arenicus's. Now you might have seen this running around. This is as close to an octopus as the game is ever gonna get. I suppose it's more like a Poseidon, but hey, we're gonna call it octopus because it's just about there. Now this one is truly brilliant. Look at that admiring orc. Nice sort of morbidly obese, rather aged orc in this outfit that is just absolute swag. So I've written this down because he's told me what this one actually is. So this is basically the Elder Council tunic and sash. Now that's actually a costume. It's not from the outfit system, but that is the best I can tell you about that one. And then the beard thing is the Sailor's Squid Goatee, which is creating that really awesome octopus effect there. The colors for that are Abyssal Beryl, Transluminal Violet, and Undaunted Bronze. And then just for good measure, he also has the Jester personality, which creates that full, beautiful effect. Um, yeah, it's got to be like my favorite outfit ever. I truly, every time, because he sort of runs guilds and things, every time I run past him, it's just so recognizable. You know it instantly. Really, really fun one there. And I thought I'd definitely add that in. Even though it's not quite the outfit system, I thought it'd be cool to add. So that about covers all of the animal base built. I hope that was interesting for you guys. I hope it was entertaining. And if you want some more, please let me know. I'm sure we can make some more topics. I do get a few of these given to me here and there throughout Discord and things. I'd be more than happy to make those. Um, yeah, maybe even place a vote in the chat of your absolute favorite from these. But it's up to you. Appreciate the watch. I hope you enjoy it. Drop a like if you did. And I'll see you guys in the next video.